am Ivy with Clean Cuisine, and today I'm gonna show you how to make Alfredo sauce without dairy. So this is actually a super clean Alfredo, and I promise it rivals the regular Alfredo that's made with the dairy and the butter and the cream and all that. The ingredients are actually pretty basic, but there's two super secret techniques. But starting off with the ingredients, we're gonna start with raw cashews, extra virgin olive oil, shallots, non-fortified nutritional yeast, and it's super important that it's non-fortified, water, garlic, lemon juice, unrefined sea salt, nutmeg, and white pepper. Okay, so the first step is the first secret, and that is we're gonna saute the shallots in a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. So we're gonna start over medium heat. You definitely don't want your heat too high. Add about a tablespoon of the olive oil. You can kinda eyeball it. And then we're gonna add in our chopped shallots. It's about a half a cup. And the shallots are definitely a better choice than onion. They're gonna give it like a sweeter and more subtle flavor. And the secret and the reason why these are so important to the Alfredo is that they're just gonna give it a little bit more body. So now we're just gonna saute the shallots about six or seven minutes. You definitely don't want them turning brown. You just do want them to be soft and tender. Once the shallots are cooked, you're just gonna bring it over into a high speed blender. Now I like to use Vitamix, but really any high speed blender will do. You're just gonna transfer everything like that right into the blender. And then we're just gonna add the rest of our ingredients. So we're gonna add the water. And the full recipe for this is on the website. It's cleancuisine.com. We're gonna add the cashews, the garlic, get in there, the nutritional yeast, the non-fortified nutritional yeast, lemon juice, and about an eighth of a teaspoon of the salt. Um, you don't have to be super exact, because you can always taste it when you're done. About three pinches of nutmeg. Um, that's less than an eighth of a teaspoon, so that's why I say three pinches. So that's like one, kind of like hefty, good-sized pinches, though. And that's three, and we'll dust the rest off over there. And then about an eighth of a teaspoon of the white pepper. Um, as you can see, I'm not super into exact measuring, but that'll do. And we can kind of adjust the seasoning at the end. And now, um, plug your ears, <laughs> we're gonna whirl it all together. And now, for the final step, and secret number two, we're gonna pour the mixture back into the skillet and heat it up and for about six or seven minutes. And that's what's really gonna give you that rich and creamy texture and also the depth of flavor. So don't skip this last part. And now you're gonna heat the sauce. You're gonna turn the heat to about medium low. You definitely don't wanna cook this too high because you don't want the sauce to brown. And you do wanna kinda keep your eye on it by stirring it every so often and you're gonna cook it for about five minutes. Now this is really the, the most important step, so don't skip it because it's gonna really give the Alfredo sauce that rich, creamy texture. You wanna keep the temperature medium low because if you go too high, the sauce is gonna have a tendency to brown and that'll pretty much ruin the whole thing. And now for the best part, the taste test. Mm. I promise you, nobody will be able to tell this is a dairy-free Alfredo. It's rich and creamy and super tasty. And for the full recipe and more clean recipes, visit cleancuisine.com.